back at the three. The Aggies now probably will see this kick high in the air. A lot of the teams, as you know by now, are trying to keep it away from Leland. Of course, they were burned not too long ago. It's the Tech game by Billy Mitchell. They're going to kick this one, however, out of the back of the end zone with the wind at his back. They put the ball out of the back of the end zone, so the Aggies will have the ball first down and 10 from the 20-yard line. Chris Ruman starts at the right tackle. Jeff Jones at the left tackle. John Richard stays in at right guard. Single setback with a slot man off to the left. Split into the right. First play of the ball game on first and 10. Long snap count here with a man now going in motion and then going back the other way. Handoff goes to Rodney Thomas around the corner. Breaks the tackle. He's at the 40. He at the 45. Run out of bounds at about the 49-yard line. First play of the game. Thomas goes to the Aggie 49 for 29 yards. Chris Lewis bumped him into the Baylor bench on the far side of the field. Ash to the left, and the Aggies come out with a heavy eye. Pulling again, the long count. Tight ends on the right side. Clay and wants much play action. Rolling right, looking down, throwing the ball, and it's incomplete at midfield. Trying to hit Cliff Gross out of the backfield. Kevin Byrne and uh, Ryan Matthews are the wideouts on the right side. And again, the Aggies, this time it is a light eye. And it goes to Rodney Thomas. Right side, midfield at the 50. Hit at the Baylor 47, and then driven back by Philip Kent again for Baylor. A&M huddled up outside uh, on their side of the 50, and we're down to 13 now on the 25-second clock. A&M comes out with uh, Thomas and Wilbert Biggins in the backfield, and we're going to have to call a timeout. Timeout called by Texas A&M. We were running out of time. Third down and six for the Aggies at the Baylor 47. Man in motion, Biggins. Great drop. Now they're going to throw a little shovel pass to Rodney. Fighting for a first down. Has it inside the 35 down to the 30. Little shovel pass, or actually a little screen pass off to the right. Right about the line of scrimmage to Rodney Thomas. Develops it for a first down to the Baylor 30. Good for 17 yards. A real successful play for the Aggies first and 10. Single setback once more. And McElroy is in the lineup. But just the one running back. Gross in motion coming right. Stops. Waits for the ball to be snapped. Hand off to McElroy. Tackle from behind as he crosses the 30 and goes to... Steve Strahan made that stop. Here's a second down and eight facing A&M. Three wideouts to the right side. Single setback again will be McElroy. Gross is the fullback, but he's flexed out to the right side. And the Aggies will snap the ball as one of the Baylor defensive linemen jumped across the line of scrimmage. A flag is down. A&M again to the line of scrimmage. A&M will keep McKeon. Or, I'm sorry, but uh, it'll be McElroy in the backfield. Hand off to Mack. Turns the corner at the 20. At the 15, down to about the 14. 14-yard line. That's an A&M first down. Adrian Robinson out of their secondary made the stop on Leland McElroy at the 14-yard line. Leland uh, McElroy rushed for 56 yards last year against Baylor. He stays in the lineup. He's in the backfield about five yards behind the line of scrimmage. Motion again from Gross. They snap the ball. Hand off to Leland. Starts inside. Goes outside. Smothered at about the 13-yard line. And there's a flag down in the middle of that on the at the, about the 14-yard line. I'm afraid this might be a hole against the Aggies. This is the first possession in the game for either team. Aggies will show him a light eye with Gross flexed out to the left. McElroy stays in as a running back. Long count again. Pulling. Play action. Sets the pocket. Not deep. Throws. Caught by Byrne at the 20. Flag to the 15-yard line. They got the penalty back, but that'll be all. Biggins has checked into the lineup. He'll be your tailback. With Rodney Thomas flexed side. Two wide outs on that side of the ball. No tight end. Split into the left. That's Chris Sanders. Pulling. Long snap count again. Brandon Ward the center today. Now they're going to try to move uh, Sanders in a little bit. He goes set after a step in. There's a straight drop. Throw it to Sanders. He's covered up. One man falls down for Baylor. Now he's covered up again. Breaks one tackle. And, and there's a flag. Going to get a face mask against Baylor. At the 32-yard line. 11.09 to go first quarter. A&M will go to a shotgun formation. Cliff Gross is the fullback. Right. And here's Pulling. He throws the ball into the ground at the 25-yard line, trying to hit Gross at the 25. Pulling again is under. Brandon Ward, the center. Motion from Gross. Hand off to Rodney. Goes up the middle, breaks a tackle, and gets 
uh, two yards out of that. Broke a tackle at the line and got to the 25 on a second down. Out of the line of scrimmage. Sanders split in left. Two men to the right of the ball. Mid There's two running backs. Thomas and Gross are split backs. Pullock takes the ball. Drops back, sets the pocket at the 32. Scrambles out of the pocket. He's going left. Has a man that'll catch him at the 20-yard line on a third down play and will bring up a fourth down. Certainly Kyle has the leg. He has a 61-yarder this year. Has a field goal in all five games this season. Didn't have a miss after hitting five in a row. Missed his sixth. One of two last week. Stormy Case will hold at the 27. Angle right. Snap the ball, kicks on its way, and the kick is a good one. And the Aggies take the initial lead in the ball game at 3 to nothing at the 9.45 mark. Bryant now has a field goal in every game this season. That one from 37 yards. That's what he did against Houston last week. Keith Waggis pack the kick high, end under end, the cruise kick at the 15. It's Bronson, bottled up for a moment, caught now at the 25. He got past the 20, broke out of a traffic jam there and got it to the 25-yard line, did Ben Bronson, their kickoff return man. Slot formation, I. Now they break the slot, Stanley in motion, and the Aggies are coming up the middle. They'll hand off to the fullback, Radford Lewis, and he'll get it across the 30. They beat the Aggies on the blitz that time. Dustin Denard, along with Bronson, to the wideouts on the left. Again, they leave the slot formation. Once more, they show an I. Play action. Here is Watson throwing the ball, and it's off the fingertips of the intended receiver, Lewis, out of the backfield at the 35. Rolling left, Jeff Watson threw the ball, went off the fingertips of the intended receiver, and Allen really whacked him a good one. Lewis stays at fullback. Khalif Muhammad checks in at the tail. Slot left, tight and right. Break the slot again. Stanley in motion to the right side. Third and about three. And off to the fullback. They won't get it. He'll be stopped at the 32-yard line. Bradford Lewis up the middle. Nothing happened. And the first possession of the day will end up three downs and a punt for Baylor. Reggie Graham, number one tackler on the ball club for AM. Johnny on the spot that time. Billy Mitchell return the Baylor punt. Aggies on both the offensive side and the defensive side of the ball. This team looks like they really came to play today. They are ready to play football. Ty Atterbury is the Baylor punter. 20 kicks, 40.2 average for the season. A&M has doubled up both the wide men here on the punt team for Baylor. Here's the kick. The wind at their back. It will hit and Mitchell's going to watch this one roll and roll and now pick it up. He's going to go out of bounds at the five. As he picked it up at the five near the sideline, stepped out. First and ten at the AM five. Baylor may be coming on a blitz. Now they drop back out of the line. Long count pulling. The running back will be McElroy. And they're going to give it to Leland. Started inside, goes back outside. We'll get four yards to the nine. Chris Lewis wrapped him up, the senior out of Gainesville for the Baylor defensive unit. McElroy again, the tailback, the fullback will be Detron Smith. Flexed out left side. Wide outs, two of them on the left side of the ball. Here goes to uh, McElroy. McElroy has close to a first down. He hits the 15. LaCurtis Jones hit him around the waist. Nice collision there, and I think it's going to be a little bit short of a first down. They're going to spot the ball right at the 15. I formation. Matter of fact, full house backfield on third and very short. Two tight ends. What happened? Well, well I think we jumped everybody outside. Fell off by that, by that. Split back formation, McElroy left, Detron Smith to the right. Two wide outs to the right side of the ball. Line of scrimmage, the 10. The Aggies need their 15 for a first down. Baylor again faking the uh, blitz. Now they drop back. Here they snap the ball. They're going to try to throw it and tackled at the one-yard line. Rolling out of the pocket is Corey Pullard. That was such well, a strange play. I think they snapped the ball. There wasn't any movement along the line of scrimmage. And then they snap it. Corey takes the ball, does pulling, and rolls right and is dropped back at the one-yard line inside the one at the goal line. Well, it's like, the, like our offensive team wasn't moving. Well, a big play for Baylor. Here's the snap. They're coming, and it's a bad kick off the side of his foot, out of bounds at about the 20-yard line. Off the side of his foot with Baylor coming up the middle. Now here's Baylor. First and 10 at the Aggie 21-yard line is the official mark. I formation.
formation. Jeff Watson is the quarterback, takes the ball, hands off to Lewis, the fullback, has some yardage inside the 20 to about the 16-yard line. That will be a gain of five on the play. Bradford Lewis, again the fullback. Baylor's leading receiver, Stanley, wide right. They have a tight end here on the left side, does Baylor. Now motion from Mohammed. Randell Jackson, the tailback, goes to Jackson. Caught in the backfield, gets the 15, got a yard. They face perhaps a passing down here at third and a little more than four yards. At the Aggie 15, long count Watson, takes the ball, hands off to Jackson. Nothing there. Nothing there. That's Lewis, rather. They yeah, tried the fullback. Lewis at the 16. He's caught. They're going to have to try a Tried the fullback up the middle to pick up this four yards, and there was absolutely nothing there. Field goal man is Jarvis Van Dyke, six of nine in field goals this season. Snap the ball, it's put down, and the kick is he wide left, it. no good, he just missed it. Boy, they just missed on a great opportunity. They had the ball at the Aggie, 21 after a bad punt. The game and get in for a $1 admission. First down and 10 at the 20-yard line. Ball spotted equidistance between the hash marks. Gross and Thomas are the running backs. It's an eye formation. Two wideouts to the right of the ball. Snap it. Hand off to Rodney. Starts inside. Gets some yardage. Falls forward about the 23. We got two flags, and man, they came from way back at the 40-yard line. Baylor, two possessions and no first downs. A punt and a field goal they miss. Single setback, Rodney Thomas. Now Corey pulls up from center, and he's looking to the right side. Three wideouts in that direction. To snap it. Four, Four seconds. Now three. Now there they snap the ball. Roll to the right. Corey Pulling throwing the ball. And it is caught. What a a catch. great catch at the 44-yard line. Ryan Matthews. Wow. Oh, diving catch. Caught it. And then rolled right into the Aggie uh, bench. That's his 17th reception of the year. Right at the 45 is the uh, mark. The Aggie 45. Single setback. Two wideouts to the left. One tied in. He's on the left side. Now Gross goes in motion to the short side of the field. Hand it off to Rodney Thomas. Started inside. Going outside. Needs a stiff arm. Will get five yards all by himself against three Baylor defenders. Steve Strahan, one of the mainstays in their defensive front, has limped off the field. He was injured earlier, but got out and walked off the field. He's limped off the field now. We'll watch that situation for Baylor. Second down. Four on the 25-second clock. Short pocket. Throw it to the far sideline. Going in that direction. Direction. Where's the play? And it's incomplete at the 25-yard line. Defender and receiver bumped together. The defender stays down. Chris Sanders was the receiver. No flag call. It's third and six. Two wideouts to the right side. Brian Mitchell and Ryan Matthews split backs. Gross and McElroy. Gross right, McElroy left. Ward the center. Snap the ball. A deep pocket for Pollock. Sets up a screen. It's caught at the 50-yard line, and it's tackled at the 50 by Chris. Lewis out of the backfield. Leland McElroy hit and dropped. Got across the 50 to close to the Baylor 49. Ben Bronson standing at the Baylor 15. Ball is snapped. Baylor outside. Oh, this is a nice punt. Fair catch called for and taken at the 14-yard line by Ben Bronson. That was a great nice punt kick from Sean Terry. Way to go, Sean. <laughs> Slot formation left. They break the slot. Denard, the slot man, slipped and fell. Gets up and continues to run to the short side. Watson, shallow pocket, looking back. Has oh. the ball knocked right back into his face. Brandon Mitchell oh, almost yeah. caught that one. Jeff Watson almost had to eat that, and then Mitchell almost caught it. They were trying to set a screen to the right side, and Brandon Mitchell was all over that ball. Here is a second down and 10. I formation once more. Watson, a long count. Still counting. Takes the ball. We'll hand it off to uh, Khalif Mohammed, and he's wrapped up at the line of scrimmage. They will face third down and 10. They started that ball inside, then tried to work it outside, and Antonio Armstrong said no way. Baylor with 13 yards in offense and no first downs. Third, a little more than 10 yards, a little more than nine. And it's play action on the option. Watson around the corner. Good run here. Across the 30, out to about the 40-yard line. That's their first first down. First and 10 at the 40. 101, clock stopped. He went out of bounds. Baylor operating hash mark right there into the field. High formation slot left. Now they put the tight end in motion. He goes right to left and goes set. 
Long count by Watson. And they'll hand off to Khalif Mohammed. Around the corner he goes. Got by one man, and he will uh, drag one of the Aggies with him out of bounds at the 47-yard line. Lewis is the fullback. Two tight ends and a flanker left. Short side to the right side. They give it to Lewis, the fullback. He'll pick up the first down across the 50 to the Aggie 47-yard line. Reggie Graham made that stop. Graham. First down and 10. High formation again. Mohammed the tailback. Lewis stays at fullback. Jeff Watson, long count. Their quarterback, short drop, throws back to the left side, caught by Bronson across the 40, down to about the 40, make a 38-yard line. At the 38, Ben Bronson caught it. Michael Hendricks will make the stop. That will not be enough for a first down. Time has run out in the first quarter, and we have a 3-0 A&M lead over Baylor. Front three, all starters for A&M. High formation, Baylor with two tied ends. They'll hand off to Lewis. The fullback has the first down and a little bit more. Pushes the ball down to the Aggie 30. New man of the ball game for Baylor in the slot here on the right side, Sean Washington. Snap the ball, play action. Now it's to Lewis again, the fullback. Nice uh, fake there by Watson as Lewis goes to the 26-yard line. High formation again. Brandell Jackson, the tailback. Slot man Washington here on the right side. Stanley is the split in in that direction. Tight ends to the short side. Pitch it goes to Jackson. Started outside, slipped and fell. Maybe the wet turf there. Tried to make a sharp cut, couldn't do it. Fell across the 25 to about the 23-yard line. Wrecking crew lining up as the Baylor offense comes to the line of scrimmage. Washington again flexed here to the right side with a split end to the right. That is Ben Bronson. Lewis... And Jackson. Pitch it, Jackson. Left side. Starts inside. Goes Ooh, it's back. it's going to be close. He fell forward as he tripped over an Aggie. That's going to be right about the 21-yard line. That may not be enough. I think he's going to be just short, about uh, maybe a foot. Now the 12th man towels, and the Aggies making some noise here. They're yelling at well, Kyle Field. They need to be, do, be very careful there on the defensive line. This may be a play to try to draw the Aggies off sides and then go on and kick the field goal if they don't aren't able to do that. But we'll see what happens. Probably a quarterback sneak. Baylor with an extraordinary amount of time in the huddle. Two tight ends. High formation. Flanker to the right. Watson, long count. Takes the ball. He tried a quarterback sneak. It's going to be close. And let's see where they spotted the ball. All depends on where they spot the ball. And I don't know how they tell where the ball ended up in that situation either with that mass of humanity in the middle of the field. Oh, got he it. got it. Boy, Nose just by, the football. Uh, by an inch. Nose of the football. Here's Baylor to the line of scrimmage. Mohammed is in as a flanker. He's flexed in close to the line of scrimmage. And it's an end around to Mohammed. They're trying the left side, the 15, at the 10, at the 5, inside the 5 to the 4. End around to Khalif Mohammed. Started right, went back to the left. First and goal, Baylor. They go with two fullbacks in the backfield, Lewis and Rubin. So not a true tailback. They have to, uh, a tight end to the right, and they'll hand off. It goes to Reuben, and Reuben gets the two-yard line. Oh, and a nice tackle by Ray Mickens to keep him out of the end zone. Dunbar, their center, turns around to get the snap count from Watson as they come to the line of scrimmage. Again, the two fullbacks are in the backfield. Watson starts the snap count, the handoff to Rubin, that's a touchdown. Over the left side, Rubin with the touchdown, Clifton Rubin, his fifth of the season. And now Baylor takes a 6-3 to three lead. Now the extra point will be attempted here by Van Dyke. Denard holding, the extra point is good. And now Baylor has its first lead. Let's see how they play it. And it'll be picked up by an up bag. It looks like Billy Mitchell at the 25 to the 30. Outside at the 35, at the 40, and about the 42. Tell you what, I guess just about anybody, they want to keep doing that. And the Aggies are going to end up with good field position. Detron Smith flexed left, two wideouts in that direction. Single setback is McElroy. Wideout Sanders, flanker to the right side. 
AM does not have a tie it in in the ball game. We've got seven on the 25 second clock. Now five, four. Now they snap the ball. Roll left. Pulling, looking, throws it. Sideline to Mitchell. Has it at the 49 yard line. That's about two and a half shy of a first down. Mitchell caught it on the sideline. That's Brian Mitchell. Calvin Collins, the left guard, and John Richard, the right guard. Hunter Goodwin now is the right tackle. Brandon Ward's the center. Man in motion goes Mitchell back to the right. This is the second down and two. Snap it. Hand it off here to Mack. Mack has a first down and a little bit more and is almost uh, on the verge here of breaking a tackle at the Baylor 45 and then caught around the ankles and dropped at the Baylor 43 by Chris Lewis, a senior from Gainesville. Leland McElroy, the Southwest Conference Offensive Player of the Week after the LSU game back on September 3rd. Single setback again. Biggins in the lineup. Pitch it to Biggins. Rolling right. Half back pass. They're going to try to throw it deep. They're going way deep and it is incomplete down at the floor. Flag down. Aggies with a tight end left. Hayward Clay. Jeff Jones is the tackle on the left side. Brandon Ward the center. Waiting for the proper snap count. Man in motion. Matthews going back to the open side. That's to the right. Pulling still counting. Snap it. Flag. We may have run out of time. Well, Corey's been getting close to that uh, expiration of that 25-second clock. Facing a first and 15. The ball backed up to about the 33. Baylor's end of the field. And him showing a heavy eye. Play action. Pulling, rolling right. Looking down the field. Being chased. Throws the ball. And it is incomplete. Out of bounds at about the 18-yard line. Intended over there for Ryan Matthews. Matthews trying to say he was interfered with by Tyrone Smith. And I'd have a tendency to agree on that. Aggies show a shotgun on a second down and 15 from the Baylor 33. Snap it. Not a deep pocket. Thrown over the middle, and it is almost intercepted down around the five. Almost intercepted by Kendrick Bell. He had a line on it. They were trying to get it to Matthews at the five. Instead, it will go incomplete. All right, here's a big third and 15. They got it down to the Baylor 33. Big drive here. Let's see what happens. Single setback. Play action. Set up. Throw back to the right. Knocked down, and then caught by Brandon Ward, the center. And on the reception, gets five yards. <laughs> it was flipped up in the air, though, like, a center, Brandon Ward caught the ball, got it across the 30, goes to the 28, and here comes Kyle Bryant. Actually a freshman red shirt. Has one earlier today of 37. That's AM's points on a 37-yarder in the first quarter. Here's the ball. It has been uh, fumbled on the snap from center and then picked up. Well, I think, and now it's still being kicked. I've been whistled dead. Fumbled on the snap from center. It got by Stormy Case and has been recovered at the 35-yard line. Texas A&M bookstore location. Your ad. Brandon Mitchell, no change. Uh, Brad Crowley is in for Larry Jackson. First and 10. Tight end goes left to right, then goes set on the right side. The open side of the formation. Pitch it. Now it's Smith's direction. Going back the other way and caught the nice well, right at the line of scrimmage on a two-yard gain. Pitched it to Gerard Douglas, the freshman out of San Antonio Converse Judson. And Mike Hendricks allowed him just two yards. Tight end to the left side. The open side has a split end plus a slot man. Watson, short drop, throws the ball. Caught by Ben Bronson. Wide open at the 35. Now down to the 30. Down to the 25-yard line and a foul a flag at the end of the play we have a flag down at the 26 where the stop was made they're knocking on the door again lewis and douglas are the running backs long count watson Muhammad flexed out to the right. On the ground, it goes to Douglas. Caught at the line of scrimmage and buried there. Reggie Brown picked him up and body slammed him at the line, the 22. That was my number 36. High formation. Douglas stay in as the running backs. And they have a split in here on the right side. Tight in left. Pitch it left. Douglas looking for the corner. Gets the 20, gets the 19. That'll be all. Clock will continue to roll at the 7-10 mark. To the line of scrimmage on a third down and seven. The tight end runs off the field. And they got another tight end in. And a timeout will be called. They were running out of time. They were having trouble. Here's the third down play. They need the Aggie 12. To the Bears. Slot to the right. Tight end to the left. That's the short side. Break the slot. Comes back to the right. High formation. Watson rolling right. Looking back the other way. Almost had the ball intercepted. Threw oh, it right into the man. hands of Brad Crowley. Crowley had that ball right in the numbers. Trying to screen back to that weak side. And Crowley, Crowley said, what's today? this? And it is Van Dyke.
Wright missed a 33 into the uh, with the wind earlier. This one into the wind from the 26. Snap down. It's on its way. Did he get this one? He did not. He missed it back to the left. Sanders to the right side. Plays the tight end on the left side. Gross returns his fullback, but he's not in the backfield. He's flexed out to the left along with uh, Brian Mitchell. Well, uh, the uh, lone setback is Thomas. Long count pulling. Now Gross went in motion just before the snap. Gives it to Rodney. Looks for the left corner. Hits a man at the 23. Goes all the way out to the 27-yard line. Joe Maynard made that stop. Split in is Sanders on the left side. The Aggies show an eye on a second and about three. Pulling again with that long count. Still counting. Still counting. Still counting. Now they will snap the ball and hand it off to Rodney Thomas. And Rodney will pick up a first down across the 30 to the 33. Well, they took that uh, 25 wow. second clock down to about maybe five or four and then snapped the ball. AM won the game last year in Waco, 34-17. Won the game here at home, 19-13, two years ago. Here's a first down play. Play action on a bootleg. Wide open is Gross. Throw it to Gross. Oh. Caught the ball and dropped it. I mean, you couldn't be any more open than Cliff Gross was at the 38-yard line, and it hit him right in the numbers. Right between the threes. And he dropped it. Well, that'll eat it, uh, Cliff. And he wanted to catch that ball worse than anybody That's out exactly on the field. exactly right. Nobody feels worse about it than Cliff Gross. Aggies come out with a heavy eye. That's the open side of the field. Play action again. Rolling. Now it's time to go back to Cliff Gross once more. At the 40, 45, 50, across the 50. And he's out of bounds. I like that now. I really like come that. Right to it. You're right. Hey, darn right. At the 47, Cliff caught the same pass. I mean, no different. They went right back to the same play, and he's knocked out of bounds at the Baylor 47-yard line. Gross comes off the uh, field. Ken Rucker, the running back, uh, running back coach, will visit with him. Ken, of course, was on the uh, staff last year at this time at Baylor. First down and 10. The Aggies operate at the 47. I formation. Detron Smith is at the fullback spot. Handoff goes to Rodney Thomas, dances in the backfield, now gets about three yards across the 45 to the 44-yard line. Second down and about seven facing A&M at the Baylor 44. Split backs in this formation. Tight end to the right. Straight drop, not deep. Loft it left side. Chris Sanders looking for it and has it deflected away off his shoulder pads at about the 18 and then out of bounds. High formation. And it is a deep eye. And timeout calls. Third down and seven following the AM timeout. Aggies at the Baylor 44. Split back formation. Split ends on both sides of the ball. A flanker to the short side. There's a draw out of the backfield to Rodney Thomas. And Rodney will get the 38. The Aggies are a yard shy of a first down at the 38 yard line. Fourth down and short. AM going for it. Time 330 and running. Second quarter, I formation. Gross is the fullback. Long count pulling. Man in motion, that's Detron Smith with two tight ends. It goes to Rodney Thomas, looking for the corner. He has the first down and more as he's knocked out of bounds out at the 24-yard line. Oh, they got about a 12, 13-yard run on that. Baylor stacked the middle, hoping, uh, expecting the Aggies to go up the middle. They tossed it to Rodney Thomas back to the left, got a great block. And Rodney's 10th carry, he's got 76 yards. 116 in his career against Baylor in a game, I think that's two years ago. Now Pollock pulls up from behind center and changes the play with nine seconds on the 25-second clock. Three wide outs to the right side of the formation. Going to put the ball in the air, throwing it to the far sideline. Brian Mitchell, touchdown! At the one and then into the end zone, backpedaling, and the Aggies will take the lead. This was an audible by Corey Pollock. He picked up man-to-man coverage by Baylor. They don't do it very often. Mitchell runs a quarter pattern. Great protection for Corey Pollock by this offensive line. Last time this was a situation that came up, it was a field goal effort, and the uh, snap was dropped. Here's the extra point, and this one's good. And the Aggies now have a 10-7 lead. The 16th annual business career bear. Keith Waggis pack has it teed up at the 45. Bronson and Muhammad back at the 5-yard line to see if he can put it out of the end zone. 
And it is a deep kick that Bronson will take two yards deep. They're going to return it to the 5, to the 10, to the 20. There's a little seam opened up at the 30 to the sideline. He goes and run out of bounds at the 39-yard line. Nice return by Bronson. Well, let's see what Baylor does as far as their offense is concerned. Lewis and Jackson. Lewis the fullback. It's play action. Watson's going to put it up from a shallow pocket, throw it over the middle, and it is you got to be kidding at the me. 20. That ball is not catchable. It goes over the head of everybody. Here's Baylor now. First down and 20. Should be 25, shouldn't it? Here's the option being run by Watson. Watson is tackled at the 23-yard line. That'll be a loss. Well, no, they got the line of scrimmage. Watson was slung out of bounds like a rag doll by Larry Walker. Running backs are Lewis and Jackson. Watson puts the tight end in motion from right to left, and he goes set on the left side of the line to the right side, and it's a delay to Jackson out of the backfield. Not much there. He gets across the 25, about the 28. Randell Jackson had the carry for Baylor out to the, about the 28-yard line. Jackson into the game, 39 carries, 236 yards and a touchdown this season. They want to make sure that they don't allow Baylor to pick this one up, and they can get good field position with about a minute left. Third down and about 20 from the Baylor 29, and it is a draw to the backfield, and it goes to the tailback. I think that's Randell Jackson. That may have been Douglas. May have been Gerard Douglas. They start to unpile. Billy Mitchell standing back in anticipation of the punt. Ty Atterbury. Snap it. Here's the kick. Wobbly left side. And it hits at the AM 45 and will be killed at the 44. All right. Not a good, not a good punt. Good it was field position. Off to the left side. Jerry the Aggies. 55 yards away from the Baylor end zone. McElroy, play action. Rolling to his right. Throwing the ball. Caught by Matthews at the Baylor 42. That's a first down. They'll stop the clock to move the chains. LaCurtis Jones made the stop. They operate now in Baylor territory at the 42-yard line. It's the hash mark to the left. Single setback. Fullback flexed out right. And again, play action. Here is Pollock throwing to Detron out of the backfield. He will be oh, got to hustle. Got to hustle. He picked up about five. To the 38-yard line. 37 now. Now 29 seconds, 28 seconds. No way to stop the clock. They see a field goal effort here. Time remaining is 20 seconds. 19. See if they just throw the ball into the turf. They do. Stop the clock on an incomplete pass with 16 seconds. Maggie's come out with a heavy eye on a slot left, the open side of the field. Man in motion goes Biggins. Back to the short side. Straight drop pulling. Short pocket. Lofts one toward the end zone. And it will be intercepted at the three-yard line by Kendrick Bell. They're led by Adrian Robinson, who has three and two of those. He's returned for touchdowns. Probably one play, take a knee. That'll be the case. Watson goes down on the snap, and that will then get us to the uh, halftime here at Kyle Field. up at the 35. It's an end-under-end end cruise kick, and that is Mohammed fumbles the ball into the end zone and falls on it. Caught it at the one, went over his shoulder. They again managed 148 yards in total offense. The Aggies at 214. They show an eye formation. Jackson, the tailback, Lewis. And Lewis, the fullback, gets it. And they try the left side. They get three yards. Hendricks and Allen are the safety. Second down and seven. Again, the eye tied in will go from right to left and then go set. Slot formation in that direction. It's play action. Rolling back here to this side of the field. Ball caught and a first down as they throw all the way out to the 38-yard line. Split in to the left side is Dustin Dinard. They have a slot man. That's Stanley. Tied in here on the right. Tied in's going to go right to left again. That's Todd Crawford. They show an eye formation. Pull back up close to Watson, the uh, quarterback. It's the option, and Watson it trips up over the uh, nice. Gets away. Nice drop to get 35. He tripped up over the fullback. 
Lewis was going into the line. He fell down. Watson tripped over his legs. Slot again, this time to the right side on the open side of the field. They've been doing that all day. High formation on a second and about, say, 11 now. They actually spotted the ball at the 36-yard line. And it will be to Brandell Jackson. He starts out left side, wanted to go wide. They cut him back inside. He got a yard. Watson, the man under. Snapped the ball, looking right, rolling in that direction. Caught by Bronson and smothered at the 41-yard line. Bronson caught it, and then Hurricane Hendricks right on top of him, drove him down at the 41. That's a third down. They won't convert again. He's kicking into that wind which at game time was out of the east-southeast at about 12 miles per hour. Mitchell standing at the Aggie 22. It's snapped. No pressure. Gets the kick away. A high spiral. Mitchell fair catch at the 23-yard line. And let's see if we get a timeout down here on the field, will we? The Aggies will have the wind here. And they will have a tight end here on the left side of the formation. Split into the right is Sanders. Tight end will be Ryan Matthews. A single setback is Rodney Thomas. Gross the full back in motion back to the right side. A handoff. No, it's a play action pass. Wide open is Sanders on the sideline at the 45, 30, at the 20. And it is a touchdown, Chris Sanders. No play action. No flags down. Uh, 75 yards. I believe they're going to mark it as a 75-yarder. We'll get the official word upstairs in a moment. Chris Sanders has just caught his second touchdown. It was 75 from upstairs. Here's Kyle Bryan with a point after. It's on its way, and that one is through and through. And now at the 11:25 mark, the Aggies have just burned them on a big play. Man is seated in section 336. Been a while since I've seen somebody that wide open. Here is a sidewinder kick toward the sideline and will get into the end zone and a touchback. That came to the near sideline and just got across the goal line before it went out of bounds about three yards on the sideline. Stanley in the slot here on the right. Denard outside him. The tight end Crawford on the left. Stanley in motion back to the left. Lewis and Jackson and it goes to the fullback Lewis and he gets four to the 24. It'll be second down and six. Antonio Armstrong Strong. First team all Southwest Conference in 1993. Second down and about five for Baylor at their 24. A little uh, almost the 25. I again. Slot right Washington. Here's the handoff. Goes to the fullback Lewis. He gets the 27. About two and a half. Now they're going to face a third down. Will Baylor and they will need three. Wrecking crew would like to hold them right here. Wide out to the right. Looked like they started they early. Motion. Yeah, they were. The fullback started early. He did not pick up the first down. He got to the 29. Ray Mickens back. Ray standing right now at the Aggie 36 yard line. And Atterbury, whose last kick into the wind was 36. Standing back at the Baylor 15. Line of scrimmage again is the 29. It's fourth and one. Aggies need to be careful here. Make sure indeed they are going to uh, punt the ball away. Waiting for the deep snap. There it is. A&M with pressure on the outside. Ooh, it's a nice high kick. Mickens telling everybody to get away. And that ball will go out of bounds right in front of Donovan Greer. <laughs> He's trying to run away from he it. He was chasing the ball out of bounds. It goes out at the 24 and a half. A&M no has it first down and 10 at the 24 and a half. They're 24 and a half. Running backs going to go to Rodney Thomas. He's the tailback on an inside block, and he's got good yardage, and he has a first down across the 35 to the 36-yard line. Oh, he got a great inside block. The Kia Cody finally made the stop for Baylor. No changes in the offensive line. Goodwin is still out at that uh, right tackle position. The left tackle is Jones. Brandon Ward at center today. Collins at a guard. And again, it goes to Rodney. There's a flag down. We're going to get caught for holding. Rodney goes to midfield at the 50, but I'm almost sure it's a holding call against Texas a and M. First and about 21. Ball backed up to the 26 yard line. Heavy eye. And it goes to McElroy. Breaks through the initial rush by Baylor. Has good yardage. He's out across the 40 to the 41. Could have been the late hit there by Baylor. 
Ball went across the 40 to the 41. They got about uh, all but six, all but five of what they needed on that one. But boy, has it made a difference. This offensive line is opening up big holes against a good Baylor defense. Matthews and Byrne are off to the right side. a with no tight end in the lineup. Now Pulley calling an audible with four seconds, three seconds, two seconds, a second. Snap the ball. And he did. Rolls to his right, looking down the field. Going to be caught by Kevin. They've just burned him down to the 38-yard line. I like that. Just burned him with Kevin. Hey, that's good. I promised him I would do that. <laughs> down to the 38 went Kevin Byrne. That is his first one today. That one good for 20. Our leading receiver so far, uh, Matthews with two, Chris Sanders with two, and Brian Mitchell with two. So, of course, he's spreading the ball around. It's a new career high. Three wideouts with one flexed in close to the line, which is the running back Cliff Gross. Now again, Corey moving some folks around, calling an audible here on first and ten. Snap the ball, thrown again toward the sideline, and it will be oh. just out of the reach of Chris Sanders down about the ten. Good defensive coverage from Tyrone Smith, just to make sure he went ahead and tackled Sanders, not knowing whether he had the ball or not. Fifteen on the 25 second clock, Sanders right, Gross here to the left, that's the tight end side, and Brian Mitchell also in the lineup. Aggies again put a man in motion. That'll be gross, and they hand off here to Rodney Thomas. And Rodney fighting for yardage is down to the 30-yard line. Rodney Thomas goes to the 30. He went back first into the uh, turf as he turned, trying to spin away. Baylor's one of eight. The Aggies are one of seven. Third and two and a half. Split back formation. Detron Smith and Rodney Thomas. Pullig. Hand off to Detron Smith. He has the first down, and he's got some more. And he's still fighting, and he spins away and goes to the 21-yard line. He got 10 yards on that, Detron Smith. That might be. I'll check it. That's his longest run of the season. Nine previously. He'll get a little more than 10 on that one. Can't get a number on that. Here's first and 10, the Aggies. Hash right, 21-yard line. Pullig again. Behind center, Brandon Ward. Now Gross went in motion just before the snap of the ball. Here's Thomas chasing it outside to the left. He's got uh, about five yards. We'll get down to the 15. Did Rodney Thomas on that sprint out to the left. Kendrick Bell. This will be the eighth time he's gone over 100 yards during his career at A&M. Second down and five coming. And it will be a pass to Sanders. And it's off his hands and almost intercepted. He had a defensive back going back trying to grab that Kendrick Bell. A&M now is two of eight on third down conversions. The last one uh, they converted was here in this quarter. Long count, roll right, pulling. Sets up, throws. Back towards Sanders. He has it at the four. It'll be first and goal, Texas A&M. What a great pass by Corey Pulling. This is a square out. Good block by Cliff Gross on the corner. The Aggies now have thrown for 223 yards. Pulling is 13 of 24. Here they are, first and goal at the Baylor four-yard line. Baylor... Uh, off balance here on defense. They're trying to move people around before the snap of the ball. Full house backfield. Pitch it to Rodney Thomas. Left corner. Stringing it out. Stringing it out. Touchdown. Rodney Thomas coming wide to the left side. Got it across the goal line and then went head first into the turf. Calvin Collins pulling out from that left guard. There's a flag uh -oh. down. But never it's saw it. It's after the play, I'm sure. 10-7 at halftime. And now with about a uh, little uh, less than 10 minutes having been played in the third, now the Aggies lead it 23-7. to seven. Kyle Bryant waiting for the snap and the spot by Stormy Case. There it is, and it's history. It's 24-7, to seven, Texas A&M leading Baylor in this big Southwest Conference game. When we're at the 545 mark of the third quarter. That is his eighth touchdown of the season, and this one is is almost on the track beyond the uh, north end zone. Jeff Watson, first down and 10 with his Baylor offense at their 20. High formation. Watson with a long count. They'll hand off in the backfield. Khalif Mohammed smothered at the 16. I think that was Eddie Jasper, the first one there. Yeah, you're right. Or maybe Brandon Mitchell. I see him in there as well. Yeah, Jasper is the first man. Leanne South, our statistician, points out we're talking about third downs. Both teams are one for one on fourth downs. Second down and about 14 coming up from the Baylor 16. Goes to the nuts. The option by Watson. Now he pitches wide to Jackson. He gets to the 20 and he's driven out of bounds. Oh, Ray Mickens. Oh, oh that man. was Mohammed.
Wood on the carry, and Ray tried to put him back in Ray's hometown of El Paso. Only one time have they converted. Watson, hash to the right, beating 10, rolling to his left, and he's being chased. He is going to throw the ball as he's hit. There's flags down all over the place. In the area where there was a receiver and a couple of Aggie defenders. It's going to be against AM. First down and 10 at the 30. Favors the hash mark to the left side. The Aggies lead 24 to 7. 454 to go in the third. Play action. Rolling right. Throwing deep over the middle. AM has a couple of the defenders there incomplete at the 35 yard line. Intended for Ben Bronson. Back deep at Donovan uh, Greer. Also had Ray Micken. Second down and 10 from the Baylor 30. Motion from Stanley back to the left. I formation again. Play action. Watson rolling again right. Throws it back to the left to the running back Mohammed. As he goes to the 40, 45, 50. Dennis Allen will run him out at the 49 yard line. And Mohammed is hurt as he hit the ground pretty hard over on the far side. He's holding his elbow as he's fallen into the Baylor bench. First down and 10 at the Aggie 49 yard line. Now we have a uh, timeout, officials timeout. Hendricks, Mickens, Donovan Greer, and Antonio Armstrong along with Dennis Allen. Here's the play. Play action goes up the middle to the fullback, and he picks up about seven or eight yards. Went to Lewis. Time remaining, 4-10 in the third. Aggies lead 24-7. High formation again. Washington in the slot right. Tight end left is Ryan's. It'll go to Brandell Jackson. Slips the tackle in the backfield. Will uh, carry down to the 35. Breaks the tackle. Goes to the 31. Nice run by Brandell Jackson. Dennis Allen knocked him down before he got out of bounds. Clock will continue to roll. They'll stop it for a moment while they move the chains. Washington the flanker. And the split in Bronson. Ryan's is the tight end. He's on the left side. Short side of the formation. Long count Watson. It goes to Lewis, the fullback again. He's got good yardage. They're pounding it out here, taking it down to the Aggie 24. Second down and three from the 24. AM's into the field. Watson, long count. Runs the option to the right side. Pitches back to Jackson, stringing it out. Knocked out at the 20-yard line. That's a first down. Callie's in the middle there. High formation. Watson rolling left. Looking, still looking. Now he throws. There is a flag, but the ball is going to be thrown and caught at the six. Flag went down, and it's caught by, I believe, Ben Bronson. It is at the Aggie six-yard line. They'll decline the hold. They'll take the play, which was the reception to Ben Bronson. The tight end, Rhines, the senior out of Missouri, goes to the left. High formation. Lewis and Jackson. Watson puts the tight end in motion left to right. Open sides to the right. Watson still counting. Takes the snap. Gives it off to the fullback. Lewis gets the four. He picked up two. Second and goal from the four-yard line. Second down. Goal from about the three and a half Baylor. Washington in motion back to the left. Pitch it to Jackson. Cutting it back inside. Dives for a one yard. Not the touchdown. He got to the goal line. Stopped shy of the goal line. Inside the one. Jackson stretched out. They say his knee hit before the ball went across. Third and goal at the goal line. Baylor trying to score here on a very impressive drive. Split backs in a full house backfield. Motion going back to the right. They pitch it to. That'll be the extra running back in there. Todd Crawford, I think. Or was that Ruben? That may have been the fullback. No, it was Crawford. Kicked 29 extra points in the ball game into this game today. Spotted down. Almost blocked. Kick is good, however. And that makes it 24 to 14. They got a one-yard run from Ruben for the touchdown. It's 24 to 14. It was Ruben. Here's the kick coming to the near sideline, and McElroy's going to have a chance here. That one's going to be knocked out of bounds by McElroy at the 18. He thought it was going to kick out. Baylor was closing on it. Burn, Matthews, and Mitchell. And no tie it in with a fullback. Detron Smith off to the right side. The running back is Leland McElroy. 
Snap the ball and give it to McElroy. McElroy, good yardage across the 30, wrapped up as he goes across the 35 to about the 38-yard line. Oh, what a nice run. He got the block, then he just exploded after he got past the line of scrimmage. Calvin Collins, if you missed the opening remarks, now at left guard. In Jeff Jones on that left side. It goes to Mack again, looking for the corner, stringing it out, crosses the 40, has some yardage, about five, tackled as he goes out of bounds in front of the Baylor bench by Nicola Cody. A single setback, McElroy on count by Corey Pulling. Ashmark to the right side. Smith goes in motion, and they're going to hand it off here again to McElroy. Skips and hops in the backfield, got a yard as he went to the 43. Brian Tanner, senior out of Dallas. The Aggies have won the last three, and here's AM with the ball facing a third down and four. First play of the fourth quarter. AM leading at 24-14. McElroy, the tailback. Play action. Rolling to the right. Pulling may run for it. He's going to get out of bounds. There's a Got flag, a flag. Down at the 39-yard line. And the Aggies are going to keep this drive alive and move much deeper into Baylor territory down to the third. With the penalty added on. It's over 400 yards in offense today at 408 unofficially. But still a quarter to go. We've just started uh, this, uh, the fourth quarter in only six seconds. Him, however, has a 10-point lead. McElroy is the lone setback with a split in here on the right, Chris Sanders. They put Detron in motion toward the short side of the field, and it goes to McElroy. Looks for a hole. It's there for a moment, then Baylor quickly shuts it down. Gets a two-yard pickup to the 36. Single setback again. It continues to be Leland McElroy. Rest play action, throwing the ball, it is off, no, caught by Detron, and he, no, he dropped the ball, hit it on the sideline as he's going. Oh, we got a flag down here, we're going to have a roughing the passer penalty. Whoa, how about that? First and 10 at the 21, a hash mark to the right side. McElroy and Smith stay in with a slot to the left, they're the running backs. In the slot, he is Brian Mitchell, the handoff goes to McElroy, 20, 25, 15, rather down to about the 17 yard no, they get the 13 yard line down to the 13 with Mack for the first time Dave the Ags will show a, a true eye they've had uh, Detron flexed out to the left side each time for the strong side of the formation Baylor has just jumped across into the neutral zone the Aggies snapped the ball and they made contact I believe did Baylor they did they were coming on the blitz that Don't time and a little too anxious Man, we've got 13-26 le left and the Aggies with that 10 point lead the clock becomes a factor High formation, Detron Smith and Leland McElroy. Tied in on the left, split into the right, short side of the formation. Goes to Detron, and the hole, he's going to score! From the eight! Detron Smith! Well, he got hit about the line of scrimmage. That's his first career touchdown. Oh, that's great. Got hit about the line of scrimmage, but he shook, he shook that off. Trying to make it 31-14 to 14 with Kyle Bryant's extra point. Detron Smith just scored the first touchdown of his career. Here's the extra point. Put that one on the board. Mark it down is good. 31-14. to 14. Lucky fans at every home game this year. Very impressive drive for the Aggies. Uh, they go 81 yards in seven plays following the Baylor kickoff. Uh, Baylor trying to pull closer. They pulled within 10, and the Aggie offense comes right back. They got two penalties on Baylor, a roughing the passer and an offsides penalty. But touchdown, first career touchdown came from eight yards out by Detron Smith. The Aggies lead at 31-14. Here's Keith Waggis pack. High end under end cruise kick. Fair catch called for by one of the Baylor up men, and he will step out of bounds at the 27-yard line. And they better watch. It could be an ejection here. There's some separation of players going down on the sideline. Apparently somebody threw a late blow down there. And one of the Aggie players was trying to defend his teammate. I guess they lost track during the scuffle as to where the ball was at the 31 and a half yard line. First and 10 Baylor. Down 31 to 14. Going to move the tight end. Now the Ags are jumping around. They did a little stunning there in that defensive front when Baylor moved the tight end to the right side. Goes to the, uh, that's going to be a pitch right side. Jackson turning the corner. Has some yardage close to a first down. Out of bounds he goes at the 40. He got about nine and everybody goes spilling out onto that track. Over beyond the uh, Baylor bench. 13-16 in the fourth. AM 31, Baylor 14. High formation. Break the slot. Stanley going to the short side in motion. 
Goes to Lewis, the fullback. There's a flag down, and he got the 41, and that's it. He did not get the first down. Offsides against Texas A&M. They're going to take that uh, and a hold against Baylor offside. Aha! Do the play over again. Here's the second down over again. The last time they tried it with a fullback, and he got the 41, which was not enough for a first down. They're going to again give it to Lewis. He's trying here on the left side. There's another flag down. And he got the first down at the 46. Here's a first down and 10. The ball right at, for all practical purposes, at the 50. High formation again. Keith Mitchell going here to the left side as the tight end goes in that direction. Move him left to right. That's the open side of the formation. Reverse. Here's the reverse. They're going to throw a pass out of it. Stanley throwing deep. And it will be high over the head of the intended receiver at the 15. Defense provided by Ray Mickens, the defender Ben Bronson. Denard split in to the right side. Stanley's in the slot. The tight end is here on the left. They run from an eye. They break the slot. Stanley left to right. Now he goes back to the right side. They'll give it to an up. It's play action. It's going to be the uh, rollout. That ball is thrown out of bounds. That's almost a uh, forward lateral ball. That, that's awful close. They tried the option running right. They tried to get it to Jackson. Two to the left. Bronson goes in motion to the right. Now comes back to the left. Here's Watson rolling. And he will throw. And it's caught at the Aggie 36-yard line by Dustin Denard. Ray Mickens defensively. That's a first down. That was a nice play by Baylor. First down and 10. Again, a slot. They break it. Here he is, play action, set up, throw deep, man wide open. Stanley caught it at the four, touchdown, Baylor. Wide open was John Stanley. Baylor very explosive, and they just proved it. They had two big plays right in a row. Here's the extra point. Got the pass to Denard, and then the touchdown to Stanley. And the Aggies anticipate. Possible onside kick here uh, with the win. They've got their hands team up short. They took a minute and six seconds on that drive. Squibber rolling it toward the sideline, toward out of bounds at the 12. First down and 10. The Aggies have the ball at the 35 yard line. They're 35. Matthews and Mitchell to the left side. Tie it in is Cliff Gross, or excuse me, the uh, fullback Gross. No tight end in the ball game. McElroy, handoff, has five to the 40. Gross in an eye formation right ahead of McElroy. The handoff to McElroy. 40-yard line. He will be shy of a first down by a yard at the 44. He fell forward, wrapped up by the Curtis Jones, and then also Tyrone Smith there close by. Aggies to the line of scrimmage. Detron Smith is flexed out to the left. Gross the full back. McElroy the tailback. Brandon Ward the center snaps the ball. We'll give it to uh, Mac, and Mac has. McElroy will pick up a first down by about a half yard, close to the 46 yard line. A first down and 10 at the 46. AM side of the 50. Play action, pulling, rolling left. Sees Cliff Gross wide up into the 50. 45, 40, knocks a man down. Goes down the sideline. Hits another man. Carries into the 20 yard line. before Adrian Robinson jumped on his back at the 25 and Cliff gave him a five-yard ride, a six-yard ride to the 19. That went 35. His longest pass has been 29. It's a new personal high, new career high for Cliff. First down and 10 at the Baylor 19. They'll hand off to McElroy. Got a yard to the 18. Baylor read that one. They were swarming on the right side. That's where Mack made the cut. Maggie's trying to score again here. Ahead by 10, 31-21. Single setback, McElroy. Smith flexed. Now goes in motion just before the snap. They're going to hand off to McElroy, and he gets the line of scrimmage on a second and nine. He gets the 18. Trainer Finley, one of the uh, defensive backs into the lineup. Here's the third down play. Stand up, throw the ball back to Sanders. Incomplete back at the 12-yard line. At the 12, hit as he's throwing. This one from the 25, a 35-yard effort. Angle back to the right. Stormy Case to hole. Cole Reinert's the deep snapper. Snap the ball. Here's the kick on its way. Looks good from here. And it is 34 
to 21. Aggies 34. Baylor 21. And they settled for a 35-yard field goal from Kyle Bryant. They lead it 34 to 21. We have 835 left. Squibber will hit at the 20. Be taken there at uh, about the 14 on the sideline. Stepping out of bounds. One of the upbacks, Khalif Mohammed. If they decide to air it out here. An eye formation again. Tight end Crawford goes set left to right. Open side of the formation. Watson hands off in the backfield. It will go to Khalif Mohammed across the 30 to about the 34. He's a pesky little runner is Mohammed. Here's second down and about five from the Baylor 34. Again, they use that tight end uh, motion place, moving him left to right. That's the open side of the formation. Here is a handoff to the big fullback, Lewis. Got about a yard and a half. High formation. Extra man running back in there. Here's the handoff. No, no handoff. And a fumble and picked up by a &M. Watson fumbled the ball as he was going down. And the Aggies have recovered it. And the time is 7.03 at the 40-yard line. A&M now has scored on every possession in the second half. Single setback. Rodney Thomas, or is that Wilbert Biggins? Biggins, it looks like 21. Hand it off. It's going to be Biggins as he cuts it down to the 30, across the 30, and about the 29. Wilbert Biggins in the backfield. Yardage is going to be impressive today against this Baylor defense. Pulling. Waiting for the snap as he gives the count. Ward will snap it. Again to Biggins. Cuts it back inside. Another nice run. He's going to go down to the 20-yard line. That's going to be close for another A&M first down. Biggins, he takes one step, and that young man is full speed. Second and very short out of an eye formation. Detron Smith as the fullback. Wilbert Biggins is the tailback. Tie it in Clay on the left side. There's a flanker in that direction. It will go to Detron Smith. Has a first down. Gets it to the 18. A&M with the ball. They got a Jeff Watson fumble at the 40-yard line. They moved it now to the Baylor 18. McElroy the tailback. Play action, roll right, throw the ball. It's going to be caught at about the seven. That's going to be, I believe, uh, Brian Nuts to Ryan Matthews. Ryan Matthews out of bounds at the five. Pushed out at the five, caught it at the seven, got two more yards. Corey rolling to his right. He had one of his linemen pulling as a personal protector in front of him. He had plenty of time. Hit the, hit the pass right in the receiver's hands, and uh, the Aggies have it first and goal. At the Baylor five-yard line, full house backfield, two tight ends. Pitch it left side, trying to string it out. McElroy turning on the afterburner, knocked out at the two. He got it inside the three, down to the two, knocked out by Chris Lewis. Unofficially over 500 by our count. Full house backfield again. McElroy got close, didn't quite make it on a second and goal. A&M, if they score here, will have scored on every possession of the second half. Two tight ends again, the full house backfield. And it's going to Leland. Leland, did he get in? No, he'd be slip of the cup again. Stopped at the goal line. Interesting decision here. You've got a 13-point lead. You almost... Yeah. A&M called a timeout. No field goal. They're going to go for it on fourth down. Full house backfield right at the edge of the goal line. Pollock still counting. Smith in motion. Left side. Pitch it to McElroy. Untouched. Touchdown. Going to the left. Pitch it. McElroy going left. Nobody. And he scores. The turnover. The Watson fumble turns into six. That may be a knockout punch. Under four minutes to play and a 13-point lead, but uh, that's a moot point now. The Aggies score it on a one-yard run by McElroy. Here comes the extra point, and it is good. The Aggies lead it 41-21. to and Letterman Association has announced its name. Well, the Aggies, a little old squib kick here by uh, Keith Wagespack. Two Baylor return men couldn't make up their mind who was going to pick it up. And I don't believe that A&M has ever scored 41 points on Baylor before. I was just trying to glance that down there. We'll look at it here in a moment. First down and 10. Watson, two-step drop throws to Bronson. He's on his knees when he catches the ball at the 24-yard line. They go from a shotgun with a running back protection each side of Watson back at about the 19. Two-step drop throws it. Deflected. Nice play there. Reggie Graham with a great Action. 
Yeah. Third down and five. Shotgun again. Watson will take the snap standing at the Baylor 19. Line of scrimmage, the 24. Drops back, dances around, throws, caught on the sideline. That'll be good for a first down by Mohammed on the reception at the 34, then bounced out. First and 10 at the Baylor 35. Watson dancing around, throws the ball caught by Stanley at the 44 across the 50 to the Aggie 48. And again, they're going with that shotgun formation, trying to play them where there's way back into this ball game. Maybe too little too late. Screen. Bronson. Oh, was he hit Junior by Junior White? White. Bronson. It'd be Mohammed. Mohammed caught it. And White just tattooed him at the 44 yard line. It's one of those hits for that receiver. Is it still Saturday? Yeah. <laughs> They're second down and about 16, maybe 17 needed by Baylor. And the Aggies just jumped off sides. They're going to have a free play here, however. If they go ahead and snap the ball, they'll throw one, and it'll be over the head of the intended receiver. The Aggies jumped off sides. Second down and about 12 after the offsides penalty against A&M. Shotgun again. Watson rolling away, trying to get away from the pressure. He will drill one to the 40. That's Dustin Nuts Stanley again across the 40. Retreated after he caught the ball back to about the Aggie 42, and he turns that into a first down. Strictly a shotgun uh, formation on this possession. First and 10 at the Aggie 37-yard line. Flag. They're in motion. Left tackle pulled back uh, early, and uh, this will be five against Baylor. 10 to 7 and a half time. The Aggies hit first. In the third quarter on that 75-yard pass to Sanders. Here's the shotgun. First down and about 15. Throw it. Caught. Got the penalty That's back at about the 37-yard line. Shotgun again. They have Douglas and the big fullback, Lewis. The Aggies coming up the middle here. Chasing uh, Watson all the way back to the 40-yard line. He's still going. Now he throws the ball, and it is incomplete at the 30. Running for his life. All the way back at the Baylor 40-yard line. Most points the Aggies have scored against Baylor since the 1941 game. We said again they won it by a did A&M. 48 to nothing. They score 41 so far here today. A little interception return would be nice. Had a little icing to the cake. a and again, they'll throw a screen. They threw that incomplete. Watson under a lot of pressure. Just got rid of it in a hurry. Now there's a flag down after the incompletion. Douglas in a slot left. They have a split end to the left. That's Dustin Denard. Shotgun. Watson again throwing the ball. His receiver fell down at the 30. Aggies are threatening a blitz here. And Watson throws under a lot of pressure. He'll catch Bronson at the 25. Bronson down to the 15-yard line. Flag down. Tackle by number 27. At the line of scrimmage. No shotgun. First and 10 at the Aggie 15. And it's Watson running the option. He will be caught behind the line of scrimmage. That will not be a quarterback sack. It'll be a tackle behind the line. And Baylor will take a timeout here. 17. A big win for A&M. Shotgun for Watson. Has Douglas and uh, Lewis standing on either side of him. Under a lot of pressure, he will throw and almost has it picked off. Oh, he was blasted. <laughs> Dropping back. Keith Mitchell hit him and knocked him flat on his back. Third down on about 12. High formation again. No uh, shotgun this time. And it'll be a uh, draw to the backfield to Douglas. He fumbled the ball. I don't know who has it. Aggies say they have it. They do they have do. it. Douglas fumbled the ball, and the Aggies will get it with uh, 40 seconds to go. And I think Mike Hendricks fell on it. Single setback. Pulling. Hand it off to Leland McElroy. Mack will get about three out to the 15-yard line. Oh, and that will get McElroy unofficially over the 100-yard mark. Oh, so both Rodney Thomas and Leland McElroy break the century mark today. Uh, Earlier this season, 132 against LSU. Last year, 136 against Missouri. Here's a second down from the 15. McElroy looking for the left side, stringing it out. He's got five. He goes out of bounds at the Baylor 20. And uh, two seconds. There's two seconds left. Wait a minute, guys. Four chasing the L leaders out here on the, the field. field. Two seconds to get off the clock. 
Pulling handoff to Cliff Gross. And Cliff will finish the game by getting three yards to the 23. And that probably is going to be a first down. That's going to be awfully close to a first down to end the ball game. And the Aggies have won it in an impressive way. A final score, Texas A&M 41, Baylor 21. Stay tuned for the postgame show. Celebrating 100 years of football, this is the Texas Aggie Network. I was pleased today with uh, just a mixture of our offense of being able to run and keep them off balance a little bit with the passes and hitting some passes. Corey did a good job of getting in and out of some plays and uh, getting us to the right play, taking advantage of some things that they were trying to do to us. And it's what I've said all along, that when you play good people, uh, you you must be able to do that. And I'm pleased that some of that's that's what we've been working toward to be able to get in the game and uh, and say yeah you want to blitz us that's fine we'll we'll we'll, we'll have an answer when you do blitz us and uh, if you're going to play us this way we'll have some answers and I thought today that our offensive staff uh, had a good plan and I thought our players uh, executed that on the field and it starts with the quarterback and I thought Corey really did a good job of getting us in the right situations we've still got a long ways to go a lot of good teams in front of us Baylor had a real good coming into this game at uh they were four and one at the time and uh luckily we were able to put some points on up on the board and uh like i said again our offensive line did a great job today that just outstanding against our defensive front when you look at a team like baylor of course i mean this i think we played a real good game today as an offensive unit everything kind of gelled together i mean we, we threw the pass well and when we had to run we ran it so i mean things things look pretty good today Oh, there's no doubt. Uh, it's, it's the best we've played this year. Uh, I really, um, I think Rodney said it, it's the best our offensive line has also played this year. They they look like a confident offensive line out there. They was coming off the football, uh, hitting people, moving foot, people off the football, and, and they just played outstanding. We have the capability of being a pretty good team, Larry. I, you know, if you look around the country and start just analyzing teams and how teams have won and who they've played and different things, uh, it's a week-by-week -week proposition on what you do, trying to find a way to win that week. And uh, as I look around the country, uh, it looks like there are several teams in about the same category that you can say, well, they may have a weakness here, a weakness there, or maybe this week. Their offense didn't play well or their defense didn't, but uh, the, the good teams find a way to be successful and, and uh, as a team win. And uh, we, we have demonstrated uh, that we, we can find a way to win. Famous fighting Texas Aggie fans. 